going on everyone? This is Austin from Calling Our Shot and we are back for some player props and spreads in the NBA for Wednesday, May 19th, day two of the playing games. Day one, let's recap it. Miles Bridges over 18 and a half points. It was a sweat fest. No way around it. Ends up with 23 points in the fourth quarter. Love to see that. A bet that wasn't a sweat fest. Jason Tatum over 32 and a half points. Never a doubt in my mind. Cashed it in the third quarter. 55-0 points on the Washington Wizards yesterday. Hey, he's a walking bucket. Like I was saying, Wizards had no one to guard him, and that was apparent all night long. Let's talk about the two spreads I gave out, and I didn't put any money on them, but we'll talk about them. Pacers minus two and a half. Yeah, about as free money as it gets. Charlotte Hornets look like the Orlando Magic out there. Uh, yeah, that's not going to get it done. You're going back home. And the Wizards Celtics. Um, I gave Celtics minus two, and all I did was get a lot of slander. I got slander coming, this and that. Celtics trash, Celtics that. You no, know, no, 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 no. I don't deserve that slander. How you like that? All those Wizards Wizards betters out there. It's kind of what I expected. You know, the Celtics had been bad pretty much the last month or so, but of course they come out and have a big showing against the Washington Wizards. Wizards ran out of gas. Not much you can do there. We're all having fun out here. I love hearing your guys' comments, so keep sending them my way in the comments below. And if you're new, click that subscribe button. Smash it. And if you want to become a COS All-Star, these are all of our COS All-Stars on the screen. Shout out to all those people, the real MVPs. If you want to become one, click the first link in the description or click the join button on our channel homepage. Let's get into today's slate, and I'm actually betting on the spreads today. No doubt about it. We're getting in. I'm going to have my best bet of each game. I'm going to give you my, my spread pick, and I'm, I'm, I'm retiring same game parlays. We were 0-2 on those. We're going to retire them until tomorrow when we only have one game. I'll give you a same game parlay then, but I will also timestamp down below in case you're like, dude, I really don't want to talk about this first game, and that will be the Grizzlies versus Spurs. And sure, all we ask is for a better first game than the Pacers Hornets, which really isn't asking for much. Uh, that game was terrible from the start. So I think the Grizzlies and Spurs will give us a better game today. I'm just hoping for it, not asking for much. Let's start with my first play, the one, a player near and dear to my heart and yours, Mr. Kyle Anderson. And we're taking his over 12 and a half points, minus 116. And before we get into some analysis, did you, uh, did you see what him and uh, Steph Curry did on the court in the last game? Yeah, yeah, my, my man. Okay, no, no, we're, pause, pause. But if you haven't, just just go on to YouTube after the video, video search Kyle Anderson and Steph Curry. You'll see what I mean. Hot sauce in the Discord. He was probably pretty jealous of what happened. Uh, no no cap. <laughs> uh, that's the end of the analysis. Moving on. All right, next play. Uh, now, of course, we have more. Kyle Anderson. He goes by slow-mo. You got to love that. He's fun to watch and one of the Grizzlies' most reliable scorers on offense. Obviously, you got... And you think about how the Spurs are going to defend him. They're going to look at John Morant stopping him. Obviously, you got Jaron Jackson Jr., Jonas Valanciunas, Dylan Brooks. Slow Mo is the odd man out, and he's just the one that's going to be chilling, getting buckets. You look at the two games he has played against the Spurs this year 17 and 16 points, respectively. And that's not all, but you look at it, he's been on an absolute tear. Last 10 games, he's hit this over in eight of them. I think he gets it done today. I think the Grizzlies, it's going to be a close game, and I think Kyle Anderson gets over 12 and a half points. That's why I'm locking it in. I'm riding with the slow mo pick, not because it's a popular pick, because I like the consistently, consistently, and I believe Steph's touch might have rubbed off on him. Pause. We're moving on. I'm sorry. We're moving on. Deontay Murray under seven and a half rebounds, minus 108. I don't love betting an under, not at all in a must-win game. But this is analytics, and this is what I'm giving you. He's hit this over. He had, well for starters against the Grizzlies. He has not hit this over. He's been 0 three this year. Uh, the most he had was six rebounds. He needs eight tonight to cash this. He's hit this over in just 24 of his 67 games this year, less than 36%. I think Poto will dominate the glass with Valanchunas. You know, it, all Poto will do will just be sitting in the paint, cash, rag, grabbing all these rebounds. So don't hate Poto's over in rebounds. But I won't be taking that. We're taking Deontay Murray under. And, you know, he's going to be guarding John Morant all night. He will have the ball in his hands a lot. And I think he, we have a good chance to hit this under tonight. Now, I fully expect Deontay Murray to come out here and slap me in the face and say, here's 10 rebounds. How you like that, buddy? But I'm taking the under 7.5 rebounds. I like the analytics behind it, and I'm, I'm rolling with it. Now I'll play my spread pick, and I might get some slander on this one. I'm taking Spurs, plus 4, and here's why. Everyone loves the Grizzlies. Everyone loves. They're a fun, exciting, young team. Then you got the dang Spurs who have, are known for being boring. They're led by DeMar DeRozan, an old head. But I like the Spurs. They got Greg Popovich, and they got I, and I can never count out Greg Popovich. Popovich in a must-win game. I think just because of that, their experience with DeMar DeRozan, I think they not only cover, but I think they might get a win tonight. I'm taking Spurs plus four. If you hate it, let me know your comments down below. But I think the Spurs got a good chance today if they don't cover whatever. But I'm making an official play. I'm betting on them. Spurs plus four because no one wants to see it, and that's exactly what's going to happen. That's just how it be. Moving on, second game, Lakers-Warriors. 
Let's talk about it. Now, I know everyone in their, and their mother is going to be like, yeah, we're betting on Warriors, plus five and a half. And we'll talk about that in a second. Let's get into my first player prop and only player prop in this game. I'm taking Anthony Davis over nine and a half rebounds, minus 115. And you know, you know with Anthony Davis, the brow, you're either getting six or you're getting 13 rebounds. No way around it. He's either going to hit this in the first half, basically, or he's not even going to get close. And that's a risk I'm willing to take. You look, the last game he played against the Warriors this year, only game he's played against the Warriors, 17 rebounds. Davis has hit this in three of his last five games and two of his last three games against the Warriors as a Los Angeles Laker. Sure, Drummond is here, and he's, he's, he might steal some rebounds, and you could, you could be worried about it, but here's what, here's what you got to think about. The Lakers, this is kind of more or less a must-win game, and you, are you really going to play a lot of Drummond? I, I expect the Warriors to go with a small ball lineup for some amount of the game with Draymond at center, and the Lakers, are, the Lakers know their best lineup is with Anthony Davis at the five, so I expect Anthony Davis to play some time at the five position, and I think he corrals all those rebounds there. I also expect the Warriors to put Drummond in some pick and roll situations, and trust me, Drummond not good at defense. He's going to get exposed by Steph Curry if they keep putting him in there and they don't double it and make the ball come out of his hands. I think the Brown is fully capable of hitting this number tonight. All we're asking for is over nine and a half rebounds, and Drummond's a liability on defense. I don't think he'll play a total lot of minutes. Maybe some more Kuzma, who arguably is a liability on defense as well. But we're not going to talk about that. I think, I think Anthony Davis, good chance, over nine and a half rebounds. I'm locking it in. As for my spread pick, I'm taking Lakers, minus five and a half. Sure, come at me. Come at me, all you Golden State fans. You're like, no, we're better than them. Whatever, whatever, this, that. No, you got the Lakers, minus five and a half, and here's why. Sure, just like everyone wanted to bet on the Wizards yesterday, everyone wants to bet on Golden State today. It started at six and a half, now it's down to five and a half. Everyone wants to bet on it, but you got to remember, the Lakers, still the reigning champs, sure. Sure, they haven't looked great this year. They've been injured, and they know this. Even when they've been healthy, haven't been you know 100% the past couple weeks. But Lakers still have two of the best players in the NBA, two of the top three players on the court tonight, and that will be enough to get it done tonight against this Warriors team. Like I said about Terry Rozier and the Hornets, the Warriors are a one bad shooting night from Steph Curry from getting boat raced, and that could be what they get tonight. I think I have faith in LeBron, Frank Vogel, and company to put together a game plan to stop Curry. Uh, whether they double him, and you could be like, nah, they've been, everyone, everyone's been doubling Steph Curry all year, and I understand that, but there's a different level of faith I have in LeBron James and that and company, and I think they can get it done, just trapping Curry, putting the clamps on him, and making him pass it up to Andrew Wiggins of the world. Sure, Jordan Poole's been pretty good, uh, but Draymond Green, make those guys score, and then you'll get the Anthony Davis in the paint, just swatting shots left and right. Sure, now if the Lakers want to lose this game, I would respect that too because it would be the ultimate finesse. They would be trying to get to the eight seed, which would be playing Utah instead of Phoenix in the first round. And no offense to the Jazz fans out there, but in my opinion, Phoenix is a little better than you guys. And that's, that, don't, don't at me, don't at me. I'm taking Lakers plus five or minus five and a half versus the Golden State Warriors today. If you want, if the Warriors want to win or cover, go for it. I welcome it. I'm taking it. Recap, let's recap all these picks. Talking Kyle Anderson, over 12 and a half points. Deontay Murray, under seven and a half rebounds. Anthony Davis, over nine and a half rebounds. Spurs, plus four. Lakers, minus five and a half. Those are my five plays of the day. Put money on all of them. And I like what we got today. Five and oh, clean sweep. You love to see that. This has been Austin. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. We're going to have a sort of video tomorrow, but I'll catch you guys again there for the Pacers-Wizards game, which is going to be another all-star game in my opinion. This has been Austin. Good luck to your teams tonight, unless you're betting against me. Now, just kidding. Hope everyone wins some money tonight. Let's make some money. Good. If you want to become a COS All-Star, click that first link in the description or click that join button. We really appreciate it. This has been Austin. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace. Peace.